Since the discovery of the wreck of the RMS Titanic by Robert Ballard, we have been diving to the bottom of the Atlantic to photograph new angles and discover preserved items that were once carried by the legendary vessel. For the last 35 years, areas have been revealed via unmanned camera probe exploring the great halls of the unsinkable ship. There are a few pictures of the interior of the liner before its catastrophic sinking in April of 1912 but there are enough to put together before and after comparison photos. One of the most notable would be the Grand Staircase. Its once golden beauty was the pearl of this impressive ocean liner now sits perfectly silent in its underwater grave. Now seeing what has become of some of the hallmark pieces of the Titanic, what has become of some of the passengers that went down with the ship? Are there still human remains on the decks of the RMS Titanic? It is safe to guarantee that there were many bodies floating, crushed, and dismembered on all decks of the ship. Speculation can be drawn that some passengers had not even died in the initial sinking. The Titanic was infamous for its new ability to create airtight compartments all around the ship. It is possible that people could have become trapped in certain areas, ultimately preserving them for a short time before the pressures of the weight of the water ended them. For every 35 feet a diver descends, the water above them increases by 15 pounds per square inch. Air pressure in a room would always be the same pressure as of the water in contact with it. There is a reasonable assumption that people were well aware and cognitive even as the wreck hit the Atlantic floor. The Titanic hit the seabed after 12,500 feet of sinking. It took five minutes for the ship to hit the bottom. Passengers trapped in air pockets could have survived for a limited amount of time based on the access and amount of oxygen and where they were located. Assuming whether certain people survived longer than others, everyone eventually shared the same fate. But what happened? to their remains. As the ship rested on the Atlantic floor, victims' bodies would start decomposition, with surrounding sea creatures speeding up the process. Many fish and sea life would eventually come around and start taking pieces of them until nothing was left. The company that owns the salvage rights to the Great Wreck has stated that, quote, People have been diving to that wreck for 35 years, but so far no one has found human remains, end quote. There are many great explanations for this, one being the result of ocean life, as I have said. Others being, the bodies were not easily accessible. Many areas of the ship were destroyed and collapsed into itself, pinning and dismembering passengers as they desperately tried to escape. The unmanned ocean probe is only able to get into so many places, so we cannot say for sure that human remains cannot be found on the sunken vessel. The remains are there. It's a matter of accessibility, a luxury oceanographers are not accustomed to with this particular wreck. In the pictures taken by the probe, there is a lot of debris and layers of dirt and sand that have been laying upon this ship in the 110 years of its residency. Remains could be there, but we just can't get to them. Loose articles of clothing and pictures also make speculation that there are remains of bodies nearby. Everything eventually is led up to the imagination of what happened to the 1,500 passengers that perished. The time window to find them is also running out. Some expert oceanographers speculate that the wreck only has about 30 more years left in it before succumbing to the conditions of the ocean. It is safe to say that there are still many bodies of the passengers laid to rest in a watery grave at the bottom of the Atlantic.